We want all the smoke. 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 We want all the smoke. 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 We want all the smoke. 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 So keep that same energy. We got one of the faithful members right here, Raymond Ross, here sitting with us, man. A little bit, the spring game about to kick off, man. Early, early, it's early Saturday morning, man. I'm not sure why we're playing at 7 o'clock in the morning, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know what that's about. Um, but yeah, this spring game, right? Raymond, I'm going to ask you first, since your first time being up here. What you looking forward to seeing the spring game? Any particular pair, player you want to see out there? What you looking forward to seeing? I'm looking. I'm actually looking forward to seeing the secondary, seeing improvement in that secondary. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing actual open field tackle. Are you breaking down the fundamentals of tackle? That's what I'm looking so forward to. You don't want to see no more than North Carolina stuff, right? Well, not, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Linebacker play. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about Huff. I want to see him. I want to see him oh, for man, myself. Look, every time I talk to Diaz, like that, be the first name come out of his mouth. Huff, Avery Huff, you know? yeah. like I've been saying for the last two years, he's our best linebacker. Yeah, because he's fast. He can play in the speed of the game. If nobody's lining up with a fullback, you know. Right. So you don't need big, slow linebacks anymore. You need linebacks you can run and cover out in the open, a running back tight end, or maybe a slot. Um, and Huff. Basically, play safety in high school at St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. So, you so, say he's our best linebacker, though. You're you saying. Well, outside? I'm going to say I'm gonna say he's our best. Outside. Like, he, he's, he's our. He's our. He's more he's potential. Our, potential. Yeah, yeah potential. He's potential. Um, I mean, uh, obviously, Corey uh, Flagg has been getting all the praise um, right. at, at, at the Mike linebacker. Um, and I made a, a, a comparison of him and. Um, uh, yeah, right, right, right. People are like, man, you crazy. I'm yeah, like, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, they, they, they size is similar. Right. And they, they like the hit. So, like, that was, that was the c comparison. It wasn't that he's gonna be this. You know? Like, right. But linebacker play um, off the line. That's my biggest. O line. If the O line could do last year, I said O line was at six. If we can get to an eight, eight right. and a half, we gonna be a damn good team. Right. Do you like Scaife at right tackle? I don't count, man. I don't, uh, uh, no, I, I mean, I like Jared Williams at right tackle. I mean, but Scaife played tackle all his career, so that's what he's more comfortable with. But I like Jared Williams at right tackle. Okay, okay. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I say put the best five on the field, but if He's not a part of that five. Then I mean, I'm good with him coming off the bench. I like, I like, I like um, Zion, Donaldson. Rivers, the Gainer, Donaldson, and, 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 and Williams. That's that's pretty good line right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we got an experience on line. We should. Yeah, I look at the thing the, and then, um, all of them got over 20 games to start. Yeah, very experienced on line. That's a first, like for the long right. time for us. So. Yeah. I, I want to see Tyreek Stevenson out there. Um, just just cause I knew him in high school. We covered him in high school. Thought he was. We had a chance to get him at UM. I don't know what he did. Cut a deal. Said, said he was gonna go play half I don't know what he did. But yeah, I want to see. I want to see Tyreek. I want to see Tyreek out there. And um, that's DJ Ivy, man. They've been talking about DJ Ivy a lot. Man, you seen his body? Yeah, they have. Huh? You seen how he got his body look? Yeah, he got bigger. All right. Yeah. Um, Could he get any bigger? Man, he, he got a big girl. He got a big girl. Um, it's crazy because all I, Ivy and Stevenson look like safeties. Man, come back. I mean, they size, they size range. Um, Ivy wasn't. He's not bad. It's just I think Ivy thing is um, confidence. You know, um, a lot, a lot, man. A lot of the young players, they we got good, good players. They confidence level. You know what I'm saying. Um, I think about them having um, T-Rob coasting with DVD. They 
and they starting to feel a lot better. They starting to feel a lot better with their confidence. Um, even like even talking to the players, you know what I'm saying? When they when they do the, the um the Zoom conference, a lot of them confidence sounds a lot better than it did last year. Last year was like, well, we hear, yeah, you know, if we win, we win. But now it's like they focus on saying, well, we coming out there to push each other, and now we gonna win. Right, so, right, 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 right. Yeah. Especially at the running back position, like that's that's the one, man. They going crazy, like man. Oh man, um, uh, Don Chaney should start a running back. Uh, Knight should start a running back, and then you come out and you see uh, Cam start doing jumping this, and I keep telling people like, I don't know why y'all thought Cam was going to get jumping over people. But so. No, I think I think Cam. I think Cam won. Um, so listen, the NCAA comes out with a rule. Um, they comes out and they say, hey, we're going to allow people to transfer one time. No sitting out. You can go where you want to go. Um, I've been talking about this last couple of months. That college yes. free agency was yes, about to start. Um, yes, he's been, <laughs> been talking about it. I kept yeah, we had conversations about it. We thought it was, you thought it was COVID. You thought it was like, nah, COVID, man. They're going to they gonna go back. They gonna, but no, this, this is how I understand how systems work, right? They give the players something. Hey, we're going to let the players make money in college football. Yay. Right? Because they have a bigger plan. You understand? So they give you something, let you run around with your candy, and then they implement their bigger plan, which I think is, is, is like creating college free agency. Like they want to be able to harbor their athletes, keep them there, and create a better game, like a more... Like now, Tulsa can be good, but you can just go around the transfer portal and beef up your team. Um, right, but now, I think that's, that. that's their. I think that. I think that's the. I think that's the. I think that's the big picture. What what they're trying to do because they see that pro sports isn't really working with college sports anymore. They're like, nah, we got a D league, we got a G league, we got a purple league, we got a really league. We don't, and and so college sports looking at it like, well, it's time to stop playing like we professional. <laughs> so does that mean that the NCAA is back over getting over on the kids? Because I feel like they're getting over on the kids. Oh, they always gonna win. No, oh, so they always gonna win. Now they ain't never gonna, they ain't never gonna fix it to where they so lose. The, so, the, so the real conversation um, that's being talked up with a lot of schools uh -huh. is them getting away from the NCAA. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wake me up when that happens. I mean, what are they, what are they gonna do? They have the power. You don't need the NCAA. Yeah, we don't need a lot of stuff. You don't need them. Like you got, you got the SEC alone. You got the ACC. You got the Big Ten call, say, man, we'll, we'll start our own league. We don't need the NCAA. The NCAA needs them. Without, without that, the NCAA ain't getting no money. They capitalizing on everything, and the kids are not. So they saying, why? You know, I'm, I'm like, why, why, why? Now you got this transfer portal, and it's like, it's, it's 1,300 kids in the portal right now. It might now. be more than that, bro. It might be more than that. Yeah. So that. now that you're saying, we're going to allow y'all to just keep doing it over and over and over. Right. Each year is going to go keep going up. Next you know it's going to be 5,000 kids. Right. Your cousin, your little nephew, stuck in the portal. You should have been like, man, you should have stayed in school. Or, you know, I, it's, I, think, it's, I, I think they're just going to keep opening it up more and more and more. Like, is there a limit of players that somebody can take out the portal? Obviously not. We've seen some schools take <laughs> nothing but transfer portals. Like, it's three schools that do, did no recruiting. Right. They were like, man, we don't want no high school kids. Let's come on. Um, who you play for? Ohio State, come on. Come on. <laughs> Raymond, right. I got a question for you. Listen to this. One. When the transfer portal first started, how, what, what would your, what, how did you feel about it? When they first started, how did you feel about it? When it first started, I was more, I was more so on the wait and see. Uh -huh. But we actually came up off the transfer portal. No. So I, I was like, I was all, I was all for it. Everybody comes up off the transfer portal. <laughs> I was all for it. We <laughs> it's have like been, ATM machine. we have been. UM has been a constant winner every year in the transfer portal since it, since it came about. This is a question. Show me a loser. Show me somebody that went to transfer portal and lost. You know about player? Loser. What team? No, a player or a team? Player. Well, somebody who picked somebody out of the transfer portal and he didn't. Tommy Kennedy. Huh? Tommy Kennedy. Okay, so what I'm saying is, I'm not saying every player comes out. Oh, what I'm awesome, saying is, awesome. who goes to the transfer portal and is like, oh, we ain't doing that no more. Florida picked up a kid, man. He come right, plug right in and play. Most of the kids you pick up, they're gonna plug right in and play. So what happens to the kid that's um, uh, 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 a four star? You know, like like not not too high of a four star, but he's a four star. Um, he's being recruited by that school, but now all of a sudden, this school figures out, oh man, uh, this transfer player just left from Oklahoma, and that's a position of need. 
Right. Now this kid is not being recruited by the school no more as of late. He got probably a week of signing day. Now he's searching for a school. That's going to be the issue. Now a lot of kids are being left behind. Well, it, it goes back to what college football is all about. Competition. At the end of the day, that's the name of the game. Competition. That's what drives winning. Right. Good competition. So whether you in high school or whether you already in college, that's all it is, is competition. If you get beat out by that transfer kid, they just feel that that transfer kid is a little bit better. So the competition is still the same. It's just competition. Yeah, I mean, but I think it's, it's created a, a cemetery. It's a place where kids go to die. You know what I'm saying? Some kids ain't getting out the transfer portal. They don't realize that they created their own um, demise. Yeah. They built and they don't realize. Think about it. When you were 18, 19 years old, right? Everything you did was probably off emotions. Mm -hmm. Man, coach tried me, I'm out. And that's how they jumping in the transfer portal. They ain't no playing. They, like, they, they jumping in because coach tried me. And everything looks like coach tried me because now you're dealing with people from different ethnic backgrounds. You're different, and they deal with you different. So, at first I thought it was great, man. I thought it was great. And then, Juan used to always say, I don't know, dog. I don't know if we should be giving 18 year olds <laughs> that, much, that, that much responsibility to make that decision. And now I see it for what it is, and it's like, these kids are gonna, they're gonna die, right? In transfer for them. They, you know what I'm saying? They, most of them not getting out of it. You got, you got, you got certain schools um, that some of them they ain't even looking for. You know what I'm saying? They, could, they gonna recruit. And then even if that, like them, okay, you got a team like Bama, say Ohio State, they depth chart is so elite. That you got a kid that's been there maybe two or three years and say, man, okay, well, they just recruited a kid that's probably got it. Right. Let me go ahead and leave. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. I don't understand the kid, the freshman that just got there. Oh, I'm not starting. Let me transfer now. You know, like, what, what is that about? Like, I mean. Because their whole life, they never set the bench. But like, you, I mean, like, of course. Yeah, so, but so guess what? They it's, for it's, that. It's, 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 and that's where, you know, it's a business now. You ain't just really just come and start over. Yeah. Such and such, he's been here for, for five. Bubba Boat, uh -huh. he's our star safety. We all expect James Williams to come in and start right now. When you was all world in basketball, right? You was around here doing behind your back, spinning on the park, and you was great, right? You was headed to college. What was your thought process? Well, I'm going to go to college, but I'm going to sit for a minute and get better. Nah, I'm going to start. I never, I never, look. <laughs> what? I, I, was, I never was on the bench. I, I said the bench my ninth grade year, and I almost quit sports. I was like, man, coach, what is this? And you talking about what's that? <laughs> You know what it is. It's right in you. I mean, but can I play the dark horse? <laughs> we, we 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 talk about the kids. Let's talk about the school transfer. Let's say if there wasn't a transfer. Uh huh. You got this child coming in. Maybe had great upbringing, but you never rolled pine before. You never had to sit behind anybody. Just say they came to you, one, right? You came to you, one. you never sit behind. All of a sudden, you meet a different level of whatever position you're in, and now you have to ride the pine for you. Now, this child, mm -hmm. if there was a transfer portal, you just said that he would have shot in the transfer portal. Right. Now, let's say if he had to stay in that school. Now, I didn't gave you my scholarship. You took a playoff. You took a playoff. Now you got attitude. Mm. You, you're slouching in practice. Yeah, you're not giving your all. Right. You basically yeah. wasting my wasting scholarship. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Because there's no transfer portal. So you basically wasting my scholarship. Now in comes the transfer portal. That type of child is off the team. Now next year, I get that scholarship back. Right. With a kid, I can give it to him. Now I can give it instead of waiting three to four years for yeah. this child to drop off my, basically drop off the books, yeah. I can now give that scholarship to a kid that really deserves it, that's really going to come in and help the team win. You recruited them. You are correct. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, sometimes you don't know what you got until right. you get it. Yeah, I that's, mean, that's, that's, that's the, the question thing. is, at what point do you give up on a kid? That's the question. I mean, I mean at what you point, it, it, yeah, I don't think that's the I, don't, I don't think it's, a, it's at any point you give up on a kid, especially um, coming 
to leave from high school to college, you know what I'm saying? If they go to be in college for four to five years, you don't give up to them until, until they say they ready to walk across the graduation stage and they, they gone. Like, some kids, it takes a lot of them to develop a lot of them. Slower in college than they did in high school. Right. They went to high school, they was instantly the man. Now they in college, it's 80 people that's instantly the man. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to wake your turn. They right. just, you going to get there and, and, and be the man, but, right. you know, um, they come with parents in. Uh, high school coaching, yeah, and college coach. You know, some college coaches are gonna tell you the biggest life in the world. Right, you gonna start next year, man. I don't care what they say. Well, you start, yeah, yeah. And you get there, you like, damn, boy. They said I was gonna start, and I ain't even cracked the depth shot. I'm third, third screen, you know. And I'm like, kind of what your turn. You ain't just. It, it's it's rare you're gonna have true freshmen come in there and just be that. Right. Obviously, it does, but. Um, I, just, I just I just feel like the, the transfer portal hurts hurts a lot of teams because you get 25. Wait, wait, hold that thought, hold that thought. We're gonna be right back. Listen, man, y'all make sure y'all like and share. X goes finish going on his transfer portal rant. We come right back, bro. Can't okay, ready. Man, I was looking through the crowd, man, and, and look at me. Oh. All day. <laughs> Another nose, man. Go nose, baby. Go nose, man. We still in here. You know how we do. In the corner watching the game and we like whoa, whoa what's going on here florida state the the the, the, the rival he's here that's the tat show baby we we here we ain't going nowhere what's up man we here caneville football field show um watching the spring game it's currently halftime right now man and all of a sudden you got a guy in garlic and gold he's just sitting in the corner watching the game and we like whoa, whoa what's going on here Florida State, the, 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 the rival, he's here. That's the tat show, baby. We, we here, we ain't going nowhere. You know, I tell my kids all the time, I said, look, we always show up when we win it, but you gotta learn to show up when you lose too, man. You can't be that type of fan that only shows up when everything's are going good. I'm always here at spring games, nulled out to the day I die. That's the way it is, Yeah, man, man you got a history of popping up at the U.S. spring games. This this mm -hmm. like what your four-field rodeo here. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I think we started off at, uh, what's the one up there? Lockhart Stadium. Lockhart Stadium. We got booed the whole way to our seat. That was my wife's first time ever uh, hanging out with me. She immediately thought she needed to reconsider our marriage. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the stadium, and then we went to Transpile, and actually she flipped, just so you know. she Listen, straight up, my wife was a king. And, it, and it, she kept noticing that the wedding date kept getting pushed back. Oh. Yeah. So she, oh, we're going to get married this day. Yeah, let's, oh, I got to go to work that day. So she decided, you know what? I'm actually going to rep for Florida State. Okay, then you know, let's get married this weekend. There you go. Wow. Oh, he held his wife hostage. Pretty much. He held his wife hostage. Yeah. Pretty much. That's, that's, that's how serious this rivalry. That's what FSU fans are. Tell, 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 tell everybody how serious this rivalry is. Robbery is between you and me, Florida State. It's deep. Like, it's deep. And me being from a place like Kentucky, I didn't even grow up with it like that. I was seven years old, eight years old whenever I got into Florida State football. Just seeing Chief Osceola ride out there, playing the spear, everybody goes to chant and chop, and I was sold. But it wasn't until I got about 10 or 11 I started realizing that Miami Florida State rivalry. And at that point, even in Kentucky, I had to find a way to watch that game. Um, it, it's a respectable rivalry, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's to the sense where, like, like y'all always say, y'all respect us, but y'all hate the Gators. And, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, that's we still hate the Gators, that's you know what I'm saying? Thing. But, like, we have a respect for y'all. But at the same time, like, I'm, I always tell my, my Kane and my Gator friends, I'm cool with you till game day. Game day is different. Yeah, that's, game that's, day that's is the, the, the way that we respect, the reason why we respect Florida State so much is when we was on top of the world and we was an independent, people like Florida Gators, took us off the schedule yeah. so that they could win. Yeah. FSU, you guys was one of the only ones that kept us on the schedule. The reason why y'all didn't win so many championships was because of you. Yeah. I know. I if know. you just took you them off the schedule, y'all probably have about, we eight, probably about eight, eight, nine. Easily, easily. I already know. I know about the wides and we're not even you know, double wide. I don't know, yeah, whatever. But, but what you said is true. Like you said, man, have we just been like everybody else and been like, oh, they went independent and I forget them. Let's put somebody else on there. We're at about seven, eight championships right now. But, you know, that's the thing, man. That's one thing I loved about how we were and how we're trying to get back to is, you know, we don't run for competition, man. You see that they were, y'all were still balling and we wanted a part of it. We wanted to play the best. And so, hey, hey, 
Keep Hope. All right, that's it, man. Can't Keep Hope football Bill, Crib Talk. He got us a Florida State fan in here. Donation, he baby. Came to here. Watch, he came to watch greatness in the making. I had to come see, I had to come oh, see the competition. Man, I'm got it. That new Lambidia is hard. We want to Specifically, you are uh, looking forward to seeing. Man, I just got to see the cohesion, man. Ever since this guy been here, it's always another big consistent. Yeah, yeah. Line been changing every week, every year. You know, coaches every week, every year. So I just want to make sure. That's been uh, that's been your own problem. Um, no consistency. Is uh, like even even with the new defense staff this year, like you know, you don't. Why we keep getting new coaches every year instead of saying, okay, let, give us three years at least with that staff. I mean, with, with Mark Rick, we had that. But obviously, you know what I'm saying, Mark Rick, he just got burnt out. Me and Cub Diaz, first year we get some officer coordinator, we have to get rid of him the next year. The next year, the defensive coordinator, the same situation. So it's like, just new coaches every year. So yeah, I, I fully agree with that. Like, we have no consistency. Um, Hopefully, uh, we, we got some coaches who actually love South Florida. They love yeah, that. So. Got to get our boards. <laughs> right. You've been a Hurricane fan since you was a kid, right? You going to raise Miami? Yeah, going to raise Miami, South what's, King. Right? What's your favorite Hurricane play? Of all time? All time. Your favorite play? Uh, man, I, I got to go back to the youth. Man. I used to love Randall Hill and Mark Thomas. Oh, man. Randall, Randall, man. Randall, Randall. But I need to play, yeah. though, dog. I oh, need, need to play. play. I, I need to play. Yeah. play. We talking about Randall Hill oh. shooting the gun. I need something. Oh, yeah. Bro, any 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 play in that uh 1990 Cotton Bowl? Oh, boys, yeah, boys, yeah. Them boys, yeah. oh man! <laughs> I think I think yeah. One of um what, what was the guy named um the the cornerback who hit the man in the beginning of the game? Open yeah. the kickoff. Yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, I forgot um, his name, man. Ah, it wasn't yeah. Ryan Manila. Nah, nah, one nah, man, play. First kickoff, man. It kicked not buddy out. It knocked them out the game completely. <laughs> And that was it. Texas was done. Like they, I don't even know if they wanted to get back on the field. Yeah. Like so, first shot. Um, and then, and then after that, that's when they come out with the, with the video about, oh, you, we don't want you dancing on the field no more and taking yeah. your helmet off. And you then knew that. That's when they said, we hate you. You know, yeah, you want to be like this. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all think you want too much, man? Back then, yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. It was wild, man. It was, it, was, it was wild. It was wild, man. Uh -huh. It was wild. They were wild, man. Um, Cause you look at you look at all the dynasties throughout the years. Right. You've never seen nothing like that. That was like Coach Jimmy Johnson. Was like, man, y'all just go. I don't care what y'all do. Just go have some fun, and I'm gonna take care of everything off the field. Right, 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 right. Um, I mean, obviously you can't do that now. Cause they, you know, it's crazy, but it was wild, man. This was a thing, man. We talk to people that's not from South Florida. Right. They, they talk about my mind was for the for the culture, man. Right. That was for us, you know what I'm saying? So people like in L.A., Chicago, they love Miami because it was like, we was like UNLV in basketball. Yeah. Michigan yeah, yeah, in basketball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, know, I think that whole country. Football. I think it, you know it, it, yeah, it created a national brand. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't even know if you can pinpoint anywhere. Like, um, it's human fans everywhere because of, because of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even to this day with the with the turnover chain, that's a, that's, that's a culture that the whole world notice. Now you see everybody come with some type of even though you didn't start it, but we we made it fake. We made it like, dang, what turnover teams, turnover teams. Like they didn't turn over belts and I see the turnover. Turnover thrown. Yes. Trash can thrown. Florida State had a pan a handbag. bag. Yeah. Mercy. But all right, coach. We appreciate you, man. You watch the game yourself? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You watch it all the time? We sound like we know what we're talking about. Yeah, y'all talk about a whole bunch of stuff on you. We do, you know. <laughs> stuff we can deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I did. All right, man. Appreciate you. Hey, man, I'm going to ask you one question. Um, any any um 2022 kid uh, recruit you want us to, what, what's the next kid you want us to get? Give us a name. Uh, 2022? Man, one, one, 
big time. Well, you, you guys already did like I think like two DNs already. Yeah. Okay. So um, maybe maybe that wide receiver. No, he's twenty twenty three. That the number one dude for twenty. So Brandon Ennis. Oh yeah, that's my dude. I already got that. Brandon. So now nah, I, I, you know, y'all do y'all thing, man. I'm just, I'm just following y'all regardless. Y'all, y'all got it going. Man. Ain't nothing in this one. All right, man. Appreciate it. Y'all hear it. Thanks, thanks, man. Y'all make sure to like, share, man. And members, man, go to the community section, man. Go check it out, all right? Hey, Garcia. Yeah, Garcia, every time he touched the ball so far, he looked good. I came over to talk to the man. The man put the food up, man, like I'm somebody, man. Oh, when it comes to information, this is the man I come see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, with five questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we, be, we try, man. We, well, we lose 24 We try. Wait, so who's got in the set? Cam Kitchens? Yeah. They ain't tackling, though, right? They, they playing nah. touch the ball? It's touch. Yeah. How you feel about the Florida State fan being here, bro? Florida State fan? Do I have an issue being here? No. I'm lucky. Yeah? Well, Plot said it best. He said, State of Florida, got to come back, do their thing. Come on. FSU, Florida Gators, UM. Because NFL, it's no offense, it's State of Florida. Yeah. But when it comes to you, we dominate. Yeah? What you think the problem is? What you think the problem is? Why, why, why you think the problem For Miami, what you think the problem is? Why Miami has been down? Oh, it's like favoritism. Favoritism? Miami like favoritism, like, he a five star, I'm a five star, see? And I'm, I'm in the field, I'm not playing the way I'm supposed to be playing, and you better than me, and you still riding the bench. And I don't blame you if you leave the, if you leave the squad to go to another school. If I'm slacking, you gotta be like, hey coach, he's slacking. Right. He gotta come on the field, he gotta ball out. Right, right. Just like last year, even though last year didn't count. And I've been going to play. Let me get on the field, let me have the experience. Like, I'm talking about rock. You saw it with our eyes, it counted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it, it counted. It counted, but it really counted, but I just wanted to see like, everybody get a fair chance. They yeah. should have played more players. Why do you think they didn't play more players? Make it make sense. I'm assuming. That's why I'm assuming maybe they ain't the end of the center play, but it's right, right, right. So you're assuming they couldn't get out there? They, yeah. It was unserviceable? Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what Keyshawn Smith said. So Keyshawn Smith said he had a lot to learn. Yeah. yeah. So what you think Manny going to do about calling the defense? You think the defense will look different? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why do you think the defense will look different? Why do you think Manny the savior? Because... I can feel like that's his job on the line. Yeah. He like, if he can go down, he can go down on me. Right. I got to handle this situation. Nobody else. Like, oh, right. I say, Coach Manny Diaz, don't show no favoritism. I believe in you since day one. Tell him, talk to the camera. Coach, coach Diaz, <laughs> don't show no favoritism. Yeah, you my coach. Handle your business. Yeah, I'm not jumping off the ship. I never did jump off the ship. For your thing. Loyalty, can't for life. All day. That's a wrap. Don't take three,